with one of the most sophisticated focusing systems, the OM system OM1 is capable of unprecedented AF performance. Having in-depth knowledge on what the camera actually does in which mode ensures peak performance in every situation. In this video, I'll explain all intricacies in detail. My name is Thomas Eisel. I'm a professional photographer from Vienna, Austria. The OM system OM1 has a contrast and face detection autofocus system with full frame coverage. 1053 all cross type face detection points and 1053 contrast detection AF points. Those are very impressive specifications already. Combine that with the fact that the OM system can achieve autofocus lock on in situations with only minus 5.5 EV paired with a lens of f2.8 at ISO 100 and you've got a camera that can basically nail focus in every situation. Just a note, minus 5 EV is approximately a scene that is just lit by starlight. So essentially pitch black. All these things sound very impressive. But on the other hand, the OM system, OM1's focusing system can be a little bit complex to understand. So let's dive into it. When set to SAF or single autofocus mode, the OM1 utilizes contrast detection, which attempts to maximize the perceivable contrast of the subject under the active AF point. In order to do so, the camera adjusts the focus distance of the lens back and forth rapidly until maximum subject contrast is achieved. After that, the camera does not refocus, no matter whether the subject changes the distance or the composition of the scene is changed by the photographer. Single autofocus is by far the most precise focusing method and the chances of the camera indicating a false focus confirmation is very low. Also, in low light scenarios, the accuracy of this method is not impacted negatively. In addition, long focal lengths, low lens contrast at wide apertures and also camera to subject distance do not impact the accuracy of this focusing method. It is important to keep in mind that autofocus speed is very lens dependent when using contrast detection, as slow autofocus motors are not capable of adjusting the focus distance rapidly. Also, some subject contrast is needed in order to achieve focus. Unfortunately, this autofocus method is not suitable for moving subjects. First, the camera only focuses once and then stops, so if the subject moves afterwards, well, it's going to be out of focus. And even if this does not happen, the movement in the subject can cause trouble for a contrast detection based autofocus method to properly achieve focus. In CAF mode, the OM1 utilizes face detection in order to achieve focus. This means that the image projected by the lens is split by micro lenses located above the active cross type face detection autofocus pixel. The OM1 then calculates the offset between these split images and drives the lens to the desired focus position, effectively overlapping the split images. The OM1 then continues to evaluate the subject distance as long as the autofocus button is pressed, meaning that the camera will continuously evaluate and adjust the focus distance of the lens. Face detection autofocus is the fastest autofocus method. It is also able to lock onto moving subjects and it can continue to follow this subject movement contrary to what SAF 
and contrast detection autofocus does. Unfortunately, this method is not as precise as contrast detection autofocus and low light situations impact the overall face detection autofocus accuracy negatively. Also, when using a long focal length and dealing with long subject distances, the overall accuracy of the system can be diminished. And this is because of the triangulation method. So those are physical constraints, not flaws of the OM-1 or any other camera using face detection autofocus. Another factor that can impact the overall focus accuracy of face detection systems is the contrast of a given lens at its widest aperture because face detection autofocus measures the subject distance with aperture wide open. And if the lens has very low contrast at its widest aperture, there might be some inaccuracies and the camera might not be able to determine focus properly every single time. Again, autofocus speed is of course lens dependent, but to a lesser degree than when using contrast detection or SAF. Last but not least, it is important to note that face detection autofocus can give you a false focus confirmation, especially under the challenging circumstances I described earlier. In continuous autofocus plus tracking, the OM-1 will utilize face detection, just like in CAF, with all its advantages and disadvantages. However, there is one major difference. Based on the initial AF point, the OM-1 will register the shape, color and movement of the subject located beneath it. It will then continue to analyze the frame and keep looking for this subject based on its movement, color and shape. The Detected subject is then indicated by either a green box when the AF area pointer is set to on one or by multiple green boxes when the AF area pointer is set to option on two. As long as autofocus is active, the camera will pick one AF point that covers the subject and calculate the correct focus distance. This goes on as long as the OM-1 is able to detect the subject. So if the subject leaves the frame or the camera loses the subject due to other circumstances, the autofocus operation will stop. Once the subject is detected again, autofocus operation will restart. Also, if the user releases the autofocus on button and reacquires autofocus on a new subject, then of course, the autofocus operation will also restart. Continuous autofocus plus tracking is very convenient when attempting to follow a subject with erratic movements. Also, continuous autofocus plus tracking is able to follow a subject even when its size and color changes. For example, if you lock onto a person's face and they turn around, the camera will still follow, although the color information changes, but the shape and everything is still registered. The downside of continuous autofocus plus tracking is that the camera can, of course, lose the subject, especially under very challenging lighting situations or in very busy scenes. And then the autofocus operation basically stops until you reacquire autofocus lock on. The OM-1 offers a predefined set of autofocus target areas ranging from single point to all. In addition, up to four custom autofocus areas can be defined by the user. Except when utilizing subject detection, the OM-1 will pick one of the AF points that is part of the current active autofocus area. Based on practical observations, I found out that the OM-1 seems to pick an autofocus point based on the following criteria. When the camera is set to CAF, the camera will pick the center autofocus point when center 
autofocus priority is enabled. Only when the camera fails to achieve focus on the subject that is located under the center autofocus point or when center priority is disabled, the OM-1 will pick an autofocus point based on subject distance and subject contrast. When using single autofocus, the OM-1 will always pick an autofocus point based on maximum contrast or subject to camera distance. Keep in mind that when the autofocus area is bigger than the desired subject itself, the OM-1 might pick an object in the background or foreground instead of the main subject. Subject detection is not a separate focus method, but instead a support function that will automatically select an appropriate autofocus point. When in subject detection mode, the OM system OM1 will automatically look for a predefined type of subject in the frame and select the best autofocus point for the given subject. Note that only one subject detection mode can be active at the same time. The first one is of course face and eye detection and it can be selected via the super control panel. The other subject detection modes have to be selected from the AF submenu. The available modes are cars and motorcycles, planes and helicopters, trains, birds and animals. When subject detection is used in conjunction with single autofocus, the camera will detect the subject, pick one autofocus point and focus once using contrast detection as soon as autofocus is activated. Therefore, this combination is only suitable for still subjects. When a subject detection mode is used in conjunction with continuous autofocus, the OM-1 will look for the subject and then pick appropriate face detection autofocus points. As long as the AF is activated, the camera will continue to look for the subject, pick an autofocus point and focus on the subject, effectively tracking the subject. When subject detection is used in conjunction with continuous autofocus plus tracking, the OM-1 will first start detecting a subject, but as soon as autofocus is activated, it will more or less switch over to continuous autofocus plus tracking to follow the target. This means that from then on, the camera won't detect the subject anymore, but focus on the shape, color and movement. This is easily observable in the viewfinder as the white subject detection box goes away as soon as autofocus operation is started. Only when autofocus operation is stopped by the photographer, the OM-1 will start using subject recognition once more and switch over to continuous autofocus plus tracking as soon as the autofocus is activated once more. Given the substantial difference between continuous autofocus plus tracking or continuous autofocus in conjunction with subject detection, it can be quite difficult to pick the best mode for the given situation. OM system recommends using subject detection in conjunction with continuous autofocus. By doing so, the powerful subject detection algorithms of the OM-1 unfold their full potential. However, in my experience, there are few situations where subject detection in conjunction with continuous autofocus plus tracking is actually preferable. For example, when using face and eye detection and the subject you are trying to photograph turns its head. The OM-1 will stop autofocusing once it is no longer able to detect the subject. But when you are using face and eye detection with continuous autofocus plus tracking, the camera won't follow the face, but rather the shape, color and movement of the head itself. 
Therefore, the OM1 is able to follow the subject's head no matter its orientation. When face and eye detection is active and there are multiple faces in the scene, the OM1 will automatically decide on which face to focus. However, the photographer can influence the camera's decision as long as the face selection function is mapped to a function button on the OM1 body. Once the face selection button is pressed, the OM1 will pick the face closest to the active AF area. When the face selection button remains pressed, the command dials can be rotated to cycle through all faces visible in the scene. In subject detection modes other than face and eye, there are a few things to consider. First, if there is one subject in the frame and the AF area is too far away from the desired subject, the OM1 might fail to detect the subject. In order to resolve this, just move the AF area closer to the desired subject or expand the AF area so that the subject is covered. Second, if multiple subjects are in the frame, the OM1 will pick one of those subjects based on the AF target area position. So usually it is sufficient to move the AF target area in the proximity of the desired subject. However, if the detected subjects are very close together, I advise picking a very small autofocus target and avoid overlapping with the neighboring subjects to guarantee proper detection of the chosen subject. Always keep in mind what each autofocus mode does and how it operates in conjunction with all the other options in order to realize the full potential of this truly remarkable camera. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel and following me on other social media. See you next time.